to show you my garden. Okay, so, you know, it's just Mark and I and the dogs, and, uh, but I want to show you, you know, you don't really need this huge garden uh, to feed two people. So we've got some uh, onion growing there. You can grow onion, we did this last year. Uh, got some, you know, small to medium sized onions and uh, in a large pot like that, a flower pot. Yeah, we've got some cherry tomatoes uh, growing here. We've got some spinach, which I've been using actually quite often. I use it for our, our salads and also for my birds. They love it. And we've got a small little uh, watermelon patch going on here. Um, yeah, I tr was trying. I, it actually is growing, um, but this is the um, butter lettuce. Um, and it, I just kind of took what was left planted it in the ground and as you can see it's uh it's it's growing <laughs> uh next to that is um some cantaloupe and these i took these seeds from last year which i didn't really get a harvest too much of because the plant got um, infested with aphids but um, what i did get out of it i took those seeds and dried them out and look at what I got going on now for this year and let's see we've got some green beans here I've got a couple of uh, uh, beets growing in here there's about three of them um, yeah and we've got some cucumber and uh, a really huge thing that I discovered with this house uh, we bought this house about two and a half years ago and this is what I discovered this is called a pumice tree and these are um, it's a cross between a cherry and a plum uh, I guess apparently you can find these in um, Europe uh, never have seen one myself here and uh, look at that beauty yeah you can see how small it is um, but they are delicious uh, I think I'm gonna give that one more day to kind of ripen uh, they get a little bit redder than that but uh, yeah oh here here's one here's one Oh, look, see, it just popped right off into my hand. Oh, I can't wait to try this. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. You know, I'm going to just pluck that right off, and I'm going to take a big bite out of that, and let's see what's inside. Oh, my word. Mm. There's another seed in there. Ant was on me. Mm. I mean... Wow, that is so delicious. Mmm. That is seriously just like a plum. My oh my, that is delicious. Mmm. Loved it. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to the garden. Okay, so we got... Um, uh, what do we got here? We got some romaine lettuce growing there. And we've got some strawberries going on here. I have, it has produced, and we've been just, you know, I come out here and I water and I see a, a nice, uh, juicy strawberry. And I pick it and eat it. <laughs> yeah, it's just, uh, I, you know, this is kind of from last year as well it uh, kind of went dormant during the winter time and then I transplanted this and um, yeah it's doing good and I've got some green onions going on there 
this tree is actually two trees and I'll show you see how it's twisted like that it's a lemon tree and a key lime tree planted right next to each other and they kind of kind of grew together uh, so it's almost like having two different plants <coughs> or trees but uh, here and I'm believing this is going to be a lemon just kind of interesting and uh, this is a lime tree which really doesn't produce uh, oh until later on the summer Okay, and so this, this was an experiment. I saw a video on taking a box and uh, you put, uh, you know, soil and stuff in it. It's, uh, it's not, the, the bottom is out of it, so it, you know, it goes into the ground. Uh, and then uh, putting leaves on top of that and putting your um, potato inside. Um, you know, obviously you put it in, in the soil and all that and uh, look <laughs> there's some uh, there's another one back there down there there's some uh, potatoes growing in there just an exper experiment looks like it works and the last thing here we have is uh, some cilantro you know now I've I'm having problems with the cilantro if anybody has any suggestions about it um, it's just not growing and I, I don't know if it's just too hot here or I don't have it in the direct Sun if it needs direct Sun I don't know so that's kind of that um, this is all lemongrass and uh, oh I forget what this is called it's all like lemony stuff um, when you rub it it smells lemony and it's supposed to uh, keep mosquitoes and uh, the lemongrass keeps ants away. So you plant that next to your house, which this has to be transplanted. But uh, yeah, that's it, guys. That's the uh, that's the garden. What do you think, there, Daisy Girly? <laughs> that's it, guys. Well, you know, uh, I hope and pray you guys have a blessed day a blessed week and uh thanks for coming by and we'll talk to you soon like right daisy <laughs> yeah all right guys we'll talk to you later no we love you definitely know jesus loves you bye now